Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. We have grapes. We are harvesting the grapes. Then we put them here. We will cover them with a breathable cloth and hopefully they will dry and we will have raisins and dried figs. The only problem is we have many, many more grapes and many, many more figs. But uh, we are learning. Do we know what we're doing? No. Will it work? I don't know. I hope so. Just a wonderful sight. I like it. This is again a uh, confirmation that this area needs a minimum amount of rain to be able to function. This is the first time this tree has any figs. And the tree next to it as well, the first time because we had more than 500 millimeters of rain and it's the first time that the grapes don't dry on the plant and fall off uh, without being a raisin. So there is definitely a minimum amount of rain required for these plants in this area to survive and it looks like the cutoff point is 500 millimeters. The first year we had 300 and then 450 and then 5 and then last year 700. So anything more than 500 appears that we can expect some crop without irrigation and that is promising. We will cover this with a, as I've said, a breathable cloth. And I put another of these uh, cages, these chicken wire squares on top to get some, to get Samuel out. Sammy! We have five fig trees that are producing a lot of fruit. And uh, it's the first time that there is some abundance. This one last had last year so let me, uh, only enough for us to taste. It's a good sight. It's a good experience. Rewarding, looks like the drought of the last seven years really changed and hopefully we have seven years of good rain. Here in the sandbox we have some more surprises. The Polovnias showing up. I counted about seven of them and now I have to find them. There is another one. Ah, this one showed up overnight. There's another one. So, looks like we will have another harvest of Polovnias. And I'm now placing these Polovnias here into the full sun because I think they are now somehow adapted. And uh, they need the full sun. These Polovnias, they came from the sandbox into this dappled shade and I think they are now adjusted and we can move them. So, 
grow. It's your chance. It's not so hot anymore. The temperatures drop from 42 to 32 Celsius. That's a gift. Lots of pear trees. The solid tree pear fruit is still hanging in there. You can see what the heat does to the plant. Yeah, they don't like it, but now it is their second spring. Grow, babies, grow! It's your time. Here I have the Vachelia Karu. I'm very excited to see the seeds being ripened and uh, I want you, I want you, come. I would like to plant thousands of these Vachelia Karu. I saw that in Malaga capital the Authorities have planted a Vachelia Karu forest to protect an area from the ent deer entering. <laughs> I smiled. <laughs> I thought, yeah, deer will not come through here if it's thick forest. But I'm also happy to see that it's a plant that is, is accepted, it's not banned or illegal, it's actually used in this area. Camel Durum, camel thorn tree in Afrikaans. Till next time, goodbye.